Addie. In Proverbs, it says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. I am not just finding a wife. I'm finding my best friend, my partner forever, and my better half. You've endlessly shown me grace and mercy and kindness. And <clears throat> no, I'm not going to cry. And I know I'm not like that. But that is why God gave me you. It is my absolute pleasure to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Lee Mariakis. I'm not going to cry. I'm struggling. You have all the qualities that I don't have and that I definitely need. And I cherish that about you. I promise to love you to the best of my ability forever. For better or worse, for sickness or health, and until the good Lord takes me home, I love you forever. Jacob, I remember the first day I met you so vividly because I busted into my parents' room at 9 o'clock at night and said, Mom, I'm babysitting with Jacob Mariakis. He's so hot, but he also has a beautiful car. Growing up, I always told my dad my dream car was a Camaro, and he always responded with, if you want a Camaro, you'll have to marry Rich. I tell people now, it's funny how God works things out because I still got the Camaro and I didn't even have to marry Rich. <laughs> On a more serious note, through meeting you, I've learned God orchestrates so many things in our lives even when we don't notice. Through meeting you, you've made me want to be a better person. You've made me more humble, more caring, and more godly. Not only are you someone who I love, but you're someone who I look up to. I've never met a person as selfless as you. You love fiercely, whether it's someone you've known your whole life or for two weeks. You encourage me to be the best possible version of myself. You teach me when I don't know how I can be better, and you lead me and always remind me of what God would do. The person you are is someone who I hope to be one day. You are the person who I want to go to first when anything good or bad happens in my life. You're the first person I call, even if I know you probably won't know the answer, just because I wanted to ask you first. The best part about you is you not only love me wholeheartedly, but you love Braley too. Without anyone asking you, you took it upon yourself to be the person she looks up to. You teach her, lead her, and love her the same way, if not more than you do with me. While we have had to overcome so many obstacles already, more than most, I promise to love you faithfully through the best and the worst, through the difficult and the easy. Whatever comes, I will always be there. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you even when you tell everyone you don't cry. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I take you to be my husband, my partner in life, and my one true love. As I have given you, my hand to hold, I give you my life to keep as we seek to honor Christ through our marriage. I hope that not only through our marriage, but in the way we bring up Braley, that people would see the presence of God. And lastly, I promise to love you forever. It is therefore my joy and privilege to declare you husband and wife. Jacob, you may kiss your bride. diagnosed with diabetes the week of your fourth birthday, which by the way, that strawberry shortcake cookie cake, real good. 
sneaking candy in your room and hiding the wrappers in the air vents, sticking your hand in a burning hot exhaust pipe causing a trip to the ER, the list could go on and on. It's a wonder dad's got gray hairs and mom's blood pressure is through the roof. In all seriousness, Addie has overcame so many obstacles throughout her life with grace and her head held high. I'm 12 years older than Jacob, and so we've had very um, different phases of life. So like, I remember my senior year, I would drop him off for pre-K, and I, I came to realize that his teachers thought I was his dad, like halfway through the semester. And they're like, oh, it's so sweet that you drop him off and go to your school, and I'm like, yeah, you're such a cute dad, and I'm like, hey, he's my brother. Starting to see that we're on to something Feel it coming now